Okay, so today we're going to show you how you can migrate your system across to a new hard drive. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, there's several reasons. It could well be that you've got a very slow system that's got an old hard disk drive inside it and you're thinking, perhaps I want to speed the system up. So the best way to do that is to swap it over for a solid state drive. They are hundreds of times faster than the hard disk drive, which came with many, many computers. Okay, hard disk drives have generally got bigger capacities than solid state drives. But nowadays, solid state drives have got so much larger now and they're so much cheaper than they ever were. So now would be a great time to do that. It could well be that you're, you've got a hard drive in your computer that's too small. You're running out of space, so you want to buy a bigger hard drive. It could just be that you just want to back up your files in case of any issues later, like hard drive failure or malware. Uh, it could well be that you want to change your computer and you want to stick that drive in a new computer. There could be several reasons, but today I'm going to show you how you can do that using ESUS Disk Copy Pro. Now, the reason I'm going to show you it using this is because it is just so simple. What I've done is I've just bought myself a solid state drive. I've plugged it into my computer. I've gone into ESUS Disk Copy Pro and straight away, Helpfully, it said a new drive on this computer was found. Do you want to migrate OS to the new drive? So the OS is operating system, so it's the whole system. Do you want to bring that across to the new drive? So all I simply do is I just click yes, and then I just confirm, yep, yeah, there you go. That's the, the disk that I'm coming from. That's the disk I'm going to. As you can see, I'm increasing the size of the disk I've got in my computer, doubling its size effectively, and it's automatically set out what it needs to copy to get my disk across. And because I'm installing a larger hard drive, it's even automatically increased the space on the Windows drive to take full advantage of this. All I need to do is just click proceed. And there you go, it's now copying, really, really simple. Now the copy process might take some time, it really does depend on the speed of my computer. Now I should say that the cable that I'm using doesn't actually come with this program, but you can buy them literally for a few quid on Amazon or eBay. They are just literally a SATA to USB cable. They're nothing special. And the great thing is you can do this within Windows. You don't need to come out of Windows. You don't need to go into a boot disk like you used to have to with systems like Ghost many, many years ago. The other thing I like about this system is unlike a lot of other competitors like Reflect, say for instance, Reflect now you have to buy an annual subscription. You can't just pay a one-off fee. Here, you've got the choice. You can either buy a one month license, a one year license, or you can buy a lifetime license. Now there are loads of extra features on this for resizing partitions and, and changing partitions. But today in this video, I'm just looking at simplicity. Okay, so it's now finished. It says you clone the system disk to a USB drive. Do you want to boot the system from the USB drive? Well, no, we don't. So if we just click no on this, and then all we need to do is we just shut this down. So click on finish there. And we just come out of this by clicking on the X in the top right hand corner. Yes, we want to exit. And then we just close down our system. And once it's shut down, and once it's shut down, we can then unplug the drive from the USB. So all we do is we just unplug our laptop or take out the battery, take off any panels to remove the drive, remove it, and just simply install the new drive, which is just a reversal of basically unplugging the old drive. Put, the, put it all back together again, screw any screws that need screwing back up, and then plug it back into the mains and boot it up. And there we are, just boot up the machine and it all boots up with exactly the same windows, exactly the same files, exactly the same programs as I had on my old disk. Everything is absolutely identical. Now, if you're wondering where you can get this software from, then have a look 
in the description of my video. I'll put a link down there to it. I'll also put a link to the cable I used to copy my system to the SSD drive. I hope you like this video and if you did consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or if you can't do that then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things including my Amazon shop which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.